What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mark. Welcome to the channel. So, we are playing Fallout 1 once again. This is part 4. And we made it to, uh, um, last episode we, we made it to Junktown. Did what we had to do there. We killed Gizmo. We found a dog. <laughs> he just ended up being our dog. We just walked up to him. It was like, Oh, you completed so-and-so. You got a dog. I was like, I didn't even do nothing. I literally just walked up to him. But yeah, so we got Ian and a dog now. Let's see where this takes us. See if, let's see if the water chips here. Who knows? All right, let's jump into it. So is there like a map of this area? Pit boy auto map. Um, yeah, we're downtown at the moment. Or that was downtown. Hmm. Okay. Um, right here then. I wish I was stationed closer to my home. Where's your home at then? Crimson Caravan. Hey, I know them. Let's talk to him. Yeah, hey, yeah, the Ian's character model. This is the Crimson Caravan. I did some work for them. They do a lot of high risk jobs. Oh, really? That's why you look like them? I'm not paid to talk. Okay. Hey there, how are you doing? The name's Demetria. Demetria Romero, head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? Damn, you look strong. Yeah, so? That's just the, what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipped by your head, blowing your enemy into two. Seeing the fear in their eyes, ah, that's a life. You look like the kind of person that can serve us well, and we pay well. Oh, yes, we do. We just had a few new openings, if you're interested. But of course you are, right? <laughs> What's the pay? 600 hub bucks. What the fuck's a hub buck? That's each way. Hell, people t say we take all the dangerous routes. I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your lab. Am I right? Of course I am. Do you always talk so loud? What, are you afraid of loud noises or something? I was just wondering if you were deaf or dumb. Nah. Only at night. You're a smart little ass, aren't you? Well, it doesn't matter to me. Just as long as you defend the caravans, I'll be satisfied. Go talk to Carrie in the next room if you want a job. Is this Carrie? Oh, that's Carrie, the cheeked up one. Can I ask you more questions, bro? Well, what are you waiting for? There are caravans to run. I need a water chip. Water chip? Hmm, haven't heard of one of those before. Might want to check one of those shops outside. They have lots of stuff. So do you want a job? Hmm. Dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Why else would I fork out 600 bucks? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Not right now. Uh, we'll see what, what else is here and then we'll think, think about taking that job. Let's talk to Carrie. Oh. So that old bastard gave you okay to work for us, hit? Well, you must have the balls of steel. I'm impressed. But we'll see how you do. We leave twice a month. Third and 17th. Hot spots, Brotherhood Steel, Junk Town, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. I heard of Necropolis. I think that's only a bull, bull ghoul town. Yeah, third and seventeenth. Can you handle that? We go to all the lo local hot spots. And the pay? Our pay is the best. Six hundred scripts, and yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. That's a pretty tough camera ride. And we're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders. <clears throat> we're guaranteed to run into some raiders or worse. We'll have no sissies in my caravan. You better have plenty of ammo. We leave on January 17th. Are you interested? I think I'm interested in you. <laughs> well, you are interesting and very different from most people. Show me what you got, tough guy. She leads you around a corner. On the way back, she slips you a few things. What? 
Well, you can last for quite a while. <laughs> Three chem packs. Oh shit, girl. That's what's up. Our bro got laid. Oh shit, that's crazy. This kid, this girl was a little too easy. Uh, maybe. So she leaves on January 17th. That's six days from now. I think about it. Uh, as long as I remember. Let's raid her bookshelf. And we can't do no, uh, can't do no double, double trouble with her. If I wanted it again. Uh, how do I get over here? Hotel room? I mean a hotel? Dude, what the fuck? Okay, we got a general store, guys. What the fuck? The little, uh, Mitch all-in-one store. Got a little troll here. How may I help you today? Uh, I'd like to buy something. Here's what I have. Not shit. Wait, what is that? A Geiger counter. Wait, don't I already have that? Motion sensor? Huh. Yeah. Big book of science. What does that do? Paying information about different scientific fields. They have those in Fallout 3. Things electronics, they have that too. Study book on the field of electronics. A note on the cover says that it's for the budding young electrician and everyone. 50. How about that? Not good enough, bitch. Dude, what's the point of me having a barter skill if it don't work? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a good trade when it's more than enough. Television dinner, you're not sure, but it's definitely not edible. You're not quite cut. You're not quite sure if it ever was. It weighs two pounds. There's only static on the radio. What well, blows? Get my money back. I just bought this for nothing. Hey, you shifty looking character. Oh, it says, Psst, come here. So, what you doing in the hub? Looking for something I need. But we all got needs. I might be able to help with some sort of them. Some of them. So what sort of needs do you got? I 
I need you some information. So you're looking for information, huh? Being a respectable businessman, I got overhead. So I'll need a few caps to tell you what you need to know. Now that we got that straight, what you want to know about? Uh, how much do I got to pay? Uh, anything you know about water chips that you can tell me? So you think I might know a little... Why does he talk like this? So you think I know my... You think I might know a little more about water chips things, huh? Well, you might be right. It's going to cost you, though. I think 500 bottle caps ought to do it. Hmm... I think you need to tell me right now without the freaking cat. <laughs> Trying to intimidate poor old Lemmy, huh? Well, I was not afraid with likes of you. I'll just be seeing you around. Damn. How much caps do we even got? We got 500. Mm, I could reload. But I don't want to do that. What's up, bro? Guido? I say you just use brute force if you don't like that much. Who cares about shock value? We we artists, we're professionals. Uh, Leon, someone's trying to talk to us. Aren't we supposed to kill them if they do that? Not until the boss says, so just ignore him until he goes away. I ain't paid the oh. If you want company, rent a hooker. I'm busy. Can I go in here? Let's save real quick. Can I go in here, guys? Who that? Lorenzo. Hmm. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Magnificent. <laughs> your service. I give out loans, only 10% daily interest. A maximum of 10 days to repay. That's it? 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. You didn't say the waste, you just said the hub. Actually, I was hoping you could share some information. Well, I suppose what do you need to know? What about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we had the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're credit to your species. Wait, what? Whichever one that is. Huh? Misunderstandings? Like what? He believes someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker sets him straight. Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy. Good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. Oh. What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus, but he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a respectable businessman, that's all. We Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since days before the Holocaust. Oh, that's tradition. Oh. What's your idea of respectable? He's asking all these questions. You don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? Okay. Well, bye. What's that? Hey, 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 take your hands off that door, freak. Okay, God. I was just looking. What's over here? Bob's Iguana Bites. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bites. Family eating place. Can I take your order? What can you tell me about a water chip? Never seen any of them around here. Water merchants don't need them. Water merchants? You must be new in town if you're asking about the water merchants. Water is life, and you don't get much more powerful than life and death. Can you tell me about Decker? Mr. Decker is a distinguished businessman and less than distinguished businesses. Ah, I got it. I got you. I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. Oh... 
Doc Morbid is the one in the hub. No, no, the one in Junktown. In human meat. Let's see where this leads. We didn't talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredient. What are you talking about? I found an invoice in Doc Morbid's lair, an invoice for dead bodies. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't appreciate your slander. I suggest you don't show your face in here again. Damn. You got a lot of nerves showing your breaks around here. Get lost. Fuck. I didn't choose the right options. Who's this guy? Proprietor of Bob's Iguana Bites. Oh, that's the other guy. You see Irwin. Let's talk to Irwin. Oh boy, can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems with my hands already. Bitch, what kind of problems do you got? Like you're the only one with problems. Listen, freak, I told you to leave me alone in the first place. Now beat it. Oh, why you gotta be so mad, bro? Problems, maybe I can help you. Hmm, I don't know. It takes a different caliber or hero than you. Listen, why don't you come back when you have a little more experience under your belt? Oh, they're actually like safe locking me from this uh, mission here. Hmm. Not safe locking me, but try not to get me killed, I guess. The bulletin board. Need work. The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. One, caravan guards must be in good physical condition and dependable. Special position must be observing when they travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo Trader's office. I think I talked to them already. I want to say. Damn. So like nobody live here or what? You see guns. It's just called guns. This is the weapon shop. It's run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. I can't even see what this guy's saying. Cause Ian's over here talking. Those water misers are responsible, I know it. Hmm. Who's this? Do you come bearing gifts? I'll give you gifts if you don't shut up. <laughs> Beth, owner of the weapon shop. Hi there, how can I help you? Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can, don't be silly. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Hmm. You ought to stay as far as away from the multi spalkin as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog cane are bad news. They'll eat you alive if you're not careful. I'll also give Lorenzo at the something something a wide berth. Friendly limping company a wide berth. Huh. What can you tell me about Decker? There's someone you ever, you don't ever want to mess with. He scares me. He owns the Maltese Falcon. Why did you say it like that? He owns the Maltese Falcon? Sorry, it just reminds me of a friend that used to own it before him. Decker really, Decker wanted it really bad, but my friend wouldn't sell. A few days later, they found him dead in the back of an alley in a old town. Oh, damn. Why do you think Decker's responsible? My friend was a clean freak. He wouldn't come within a hundred yards of Old Town. He was shot with a magnum. No one in Old Town could afford one of those. Plus, he was shot once in the head and twice in the back. Doesn't sound like a robbery. My friend was just trying to get his life back. Get his life back? You probably don't understand. Most of us look forward to the day when we own our own lives, when our lives don't belong to the merchants or the moneylenders. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, excuse me, you asked. <laughs> That's true. Is that you left already? Missed me already? Oh, so you just left. Missed me already? Uh, what can you tell me about the different merchants? Are there three main merchants groups? So the water merchants, the crimson caravan, and the Fargo traders. They also run the city council. But uh, what do you want to know about? Water merchants. They're in charge of all the water, greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the work and the jobs are just as bad. Did they always control all the water? No, from what I heard a, a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants. People had to get water from them. The merchant war raged. No, from what I heard a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged on for gears until a man named Roy Green. Yeah, Justin's grandfather. That's it. Helped to negotiate an agreement that ended the war. Wow. Who's Justin though? Did I already forget if it was somebody? <laughs> what kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. Oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them who's boss. You don't sound like someone who should own a gun store. I need that. I didn't need that quite much information, but thanks just the same. Is there anything else you want to know about uh, the city council? There are six rep representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. Seems about right. That's all. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. been here yet it's uh Justin Green Deputy Kenny yeah business with the hub please please talk to Sheriff Green okay oh sir the name is Justin Green I'm sheriff of this here city is there anything I can do or do for you on this fine day I have a crime to report. Well, spit it out. Sorry, I can't tell you I'd be dead. Wait, what? I can't tell you I'd be dead. We couldn't have that, but if you ever change your minds, please let me know. It's a dangerous place out there. Someone has to stand up for what's right. You ain't lying. You're doing a fine job. We try our best. It's really tough in a city this size. But we do the best we can with what we got. It's hard when the thugs have better firepower than you do. That is pretty scary. It's called Pounce. That's the name of the fucking... Lockpick. Well, let me sneak first. You're not able to pick the lock. Nah, yeah, that sucks. Fargo Trader, have I talked to them yet? Rucker. Fargo Traders. Run my butch hairs. He's that Neute Ibre, if you catch my meaning. 
I don't get it. I don't get your meaning. Did I read that wrong? Hello, and well, hello, and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How can how may we help you? Let's see. What is it that you do here? I'm in charge of the. I mean, I help run the Fargo Traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they will answer to. Retrieve wares between all the different settlements. What about that job that was posted? Looking for work? Are you look all right? Well, you should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Wait. What are you talking to me for? I said talk to Butch. He looks like a damn zombie. What do you want? Oh, he has a voice actor. I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money. Chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? What job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to him. I bet you didn't even look for them. <laughs> uh, what did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was planning that you were too frightened to go look for them. I'm tired of your insults, you... You pinhead. Don't come back. Rutger, take this annoying bug away. I like how he leaned in, too. I'm sorry. Call me a pinhead. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Are you always this annoying? I was wondering, do you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need and where is it going? I need enough to supply a vault. It's up north, past junk down in the mountains. The whole vault? Are you nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've had enough missing caravans. You don't? Is there someone else who can? You're not from around here. Water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Where would I find them? Oh shit. I pissed off the boss. Can he get over it? Please tell me he can get over it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Who's this guy? Damn. Does he ever get over it? I have to reload. reload. Fuck, I'm far back. Okay, we reloaded. <laughs> Went through all the steps again. Now we're talking to Butch. Let me ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? What job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. So what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take him out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> something, but... I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh... You really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw. But I don't know nothing about that. The Death Claw. First game and the Death Claw comes up. How do I find out about the Death Claw? You sound scared. Listen, you. I ain't scared. I'm cautious. You'd be stupid not to be with the Death Claw. Look, go talk to Beth. She'll tell you more. I need some info. I need some more information. Make it quick. 
houses around here besides the hub. Well, you got the junk town to the north and the Brotherhood of Steel to the northwest, and of course the boneyard to the south. Hmm, anything else? Well, Necropolis is east, but uh, I wouldn't spit there if it came out gold, if you get my drift. Those ghouls will eat a man's face faster than an old lady shopping at bargain day. But I thought there's not all bad ghouls there. That was like fun. <laughs> Maybe for you. If you like that, then the glow's down south. It's a radioactive pit. Oh, the glow. Hold on. Pretty good rumors? Yeah, just the normal stuff. Oh, come on. That has to be something else I can use. Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> Something you, uh, you really want. How do you go talk to Beth? She knows more about that crap. I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here, but come back and talk to me when you found something. Bitch. Go we'll talk to Beth, huh? I know who Beth is. Oh, it's over here. I think that's Beth. Hello again, nice to see you. How can I help you on this fine day? You just left. Miss me already? Can I ask you some questions? What do you know about the Death Claw? I think that's what's taking the caravan. It, should also, it could also be the Brotherhood of Steel. They're a strange bunch. People think it's the water merchants, but they're wrong. What exactly is the Death Claw? The Death Claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some play, some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. This is real. It's no ghost. This is real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. It's some kind of demon that found its way when the way here when the war was engulfed in fire. I should just end your misery right here and now. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you know anything else about the Death Claw? Well, I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. Mutant? He's seen it. He's the only one that's seen it and lived. What do you mean, mutant? Super mutant? Only one that's seen it and lived? Okay, I'll check it out. Bye. Old Harold, huh? Well, I need to go to Old Town then. I'm guessing it's this way. Never mind. I can only go this way. I go that way too. Eh. Can you tell me where I am? You're in the south end of the hub. If you look around, you'll find water merchants and a small hospital. A hospital? Children of the Cathedral run by a small hospital here in the hub. They seem like a decent bunch. Yeah, I heard about the water merchants. I see a radioactive sign. Who lives here? Anybody home? Yeah, I'll just rob your ass. Never mind, think I shit. Shit. 
patient. Oh mercy, holy flame, what the fuck? What do you want? What's this place about? Something called a holy flame. Don't listen to this bullshit. It'll rot your brain. Are these people wherever stupid? Where do these guys come from? I don't know. I can tell you one thing. Whatever you can say about the religion, they're not amateurs. They come in and organize this place like clockwork. It's just another bond of zomb- Another band of mindless zombies. Who's this guy? Dorndike? Sir, I am a healer. You have no need for my services. You know, I could help drum up some business. I'm very good at hurting people. <laughs> this is a service, not as business, and your talent is not one which I brag about. Now, please excuse me. Who's this guy? Jade? Your name is Jane? Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Oh, I thought it was a dude. <laughs> I did not I did not think it was a woman. Just looking around. Uh then why are you here? What would bring you to the children of the cathedral? I need to know how to burn this place down, so I was looking for structural weaknesses. <laughs> Relax, I didn't mean it. I am not completely devoid of humor, but leading the children is something I take seriously. Please remember that. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the children. Are you interested in converting to our faith? We can offer you what no one else can. And what's that? A lifetime of contentment. Fulfillment in the knowledge you're working to rebuild the planet and make it a better place for those who follow. Uh, I don't think so. It sounds a little fishy to me. Believe what you will. Just do it elsewhere. You may leave. Yeah, I pissed her off. Blessings of the Holy Flame to you, my child. So this is the beginning of the Children of Adam, I'm guessing. Who's the Holy Flame? There is no one greater than the Holy Flame, and we are his servants. Really? Well, wow. so what's the reason for someone to join your order? A lifetime of contentment. Eh. Believe what you will. I'm surprised it's a woman this time. It's usually a guy spewing that bullshit. What's in here? Oh yeah, that's the empty house. Let's go talk to the uh, water fuckers. Oh, over here. Oh, it's over here, I'm guessing. Who's this guy? I see a caravan driver. Office of the water merchants, they're the big movers and shakers of the hub. Since they supply the water, it keeps everything going. Maybe they know about the water chip. Let's go. Talk to them. Wait. Open the door. Was this not the front door? Oh shit, there's like everybody talking in here. Master merchant? Hey, you got any smokes? Talk to Martha if you want a job. I need a bath, this guy. Master merchant. I don't care what they say, we need new parts. Oh yes, sorry, what can I do for you? Do you have a water chip? Water chip, hmm. Oh, those old vault here. Oh, she knows about it. Purifying control chips. Well, I speak for the entire town. I say you won't find one here without the proper equipment or worthless. I don't have any use for one. Why do you ask? Wait, she mentioned or maybe Necropolis would have 
A use for one. Ah. What's up, boy? My my vault ship broke and I'm looking for a replacement. Really? Well, you probably have heard we supply a great deal of water throughout the area. I'm sure we could arrange the Saren Caravan up to your vault for a fee. How much are you talking about? Well, it's quite a distance away. 2,000 caps should cover the initial caravan. I'm sure your vault will have stuff to trade to keep us going for a while. However, with the current reserves, I'm guessing that will only be able to keep your vault going for an extra 100 days or so. Uh, I don't even have that much money. I only have 500. I'll come back when I do. Hmm. I don't trust her. Oh man. I want to ask her why would Necropolis want one? When I, st I still have more than 100 days left. I should be fine for now. Maybe Necropolis would have use for one. Why do you ask? Necropolis? Why would they need one? Well, it's just a guess, really. We tried to start a caravan route to Necrop Necrop Necropolis once, but they refused to trade with us. Nobody in the right mind refuses water these days unless they have a reliable supply. Maybe they have their own pur own purifier. They would have done a long time ago. So are you looking to have us go up to your vault? How much is it going to cost me? Okay. So that's all she had to say, really. Um... Oh, it's here. You see a car. Okay, where else should I go? Caravan driver. Hmm. We look for a job. Talk. One of our caravans talk to the master merchant. She's in that building to the east. Oh, I thought it was the Ian saying all that stuff. I guess not. Another empty house. that's falling apart. <laughs> I'm trying to see if we can get to Old Town. Here, there's something. Wait, what is this? Man, ain't shit. Oh, you look pissed. Tell me where I am. This is in a safe place. Oh. Got a rough life. Harold. Is that the one from uh, Fallout 3? The tree? A skag. This place is neat. It's much better than my old place. Is it my bedtime yet? Peasant. 
You see a skag? What the fuck's a skag? Um, okay. No box is empty. You get the feeling it's been that way for a while. Anybody home? Who this? Shiny food? No. Like somewhere they were hide someone. Oh, the door is locked. Um, I think. Oh, I unlocked it. Why was it locked? What the fuck, dude? Okay. And a lockpick this door. Ah, what about this one? Damn it. leader of the thieves guild what this is thieves guild and fallout wow that's interesting i know about the thieves guild and um uh, morrowind skyrim and oblivion um go up the stairs dude da 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 the fuck Lappy. Ooh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? What? What do you do around here? What's your problem? Problems are like soup bowls. Wide and shallow. It's more like your mind. Grows high as fuck. Beth told me to talk to you about the death claw. Beth, Beth. You shot Beth. Like Harold, you talk Harold. Here I'll tell you story. Slappy helped in. Okay, I'll talk to Harold first. Who the fuck is Harold? Oh, there he is. There he is. Is that Harold from Fallout 3? The one with the, the one that becomes a tree? Let's play global thermonuclear war. Uh, I think we already played that, man. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck <coughs> oh so he was a ghoul the whole time poor mutant keep away from me <laughs> you're as bad as the rest of them <laughs> he talks the same too I love it oh hey it's you again Hi. Anything I can do for you? What's your story? The whole thing. Well, you gonna tell me? No. Well, oh. After the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. Phew. <sighs> Long time. Tell me more about those days. 
No, I mean, like, what happened to you? Yes, yeah, let's say that. Well, I got mutated. Sure wasn't born as ugly. Happened when we tried to find out where all the mutants were coming from. But you're not like the rest of them. You got one eye, bro. Looks like you already got a tree coming out of you. What happened? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. The source? What was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How do you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Oh, I heard about this in like a... Well, in a podcast and... In Fallout 3, there was an archive. Or was it Fallout 4? About the Brotherhood of Steel origin. They said there was some place where the FEV virus was originating. I think that's what they're talking about. What he's talking about. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then... One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. And then... Whatever happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and well, I couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. What about you and Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. How did you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. I love it. Yeah, I can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate, though? All I know is it was something inside that base. You think it could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway... That's how the deal went down. Thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. He looks different than other ghouls, though. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. Anything I can do for you? I need info on the Death Claw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Gonna kill it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? He'll see you? I can't look at him. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Great, Good thanks. To you. You're gonna need it. Could be. He said he's asked for twenty bucks. Oh, can hey, we get it to him? You again. Here's twenty bucks if you need it. Anything I can do for you? Nothing, thanks. I just gave him twenty bucks for nothing. Great. Ian, will you move? Is 
Thank you. I can't move it. Hey, where's dog meat? Where's dog meat? Oh, there he is. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just says woof. Hmm. Well, we finally talked to Harold. Let's see, what's this? place I could go in left. Oh shit. Who are you? The name's Vance and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? Good to meet you Vance. What do you have to sell? Here's what I got. Okay he scared me. <laughs> I thought he was gonna kill my ass. Is that a rat away? Okay how about this? Um, I don't like your kind. Who are your friends over there? That's Justin and Chad. They're here to make sure no one causes any trouble. They look like a couple of pansies. Get down to business. I'm just, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Just a friends of mine. That's all you need to know. Don't ask too many questions. Well, look at the colors, mother. Ronzina tried to kill me. <laughs> Just kicked me out. Alright everybody, it's been a it's been a nice little playthrough I've been doing. Nice little session. We didn't have any deaths. Well I've only been in the town, so I kinda expect it. Um so I didn't really get much done. I was just exploring the hub and the hub is fucking huge. Um I'm gonna try to get out next session. They say they want us to go fight the Death Claw. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Mm. They said to go to Necropolis for the water chip, possibly. So there's Necropolis, Brotherhood of Steel. Fuck, oh, there's some other two, I can't remember. Well, I'm gonna get off though. We can maybe explore them next, next, uh, next session. All right, y'all have a great day. Later.